we're going to create a Maven project. So go file new project. And of course you can just click the box right there with a plus. So we're going to Java with Maven Java application. Make sure you remember where you save it. And I'll just leave the uh, default here, Maven project one. And you can modify any of these if you want to, I'm going to leave them all default. This project will be very similar to your ant ant project, but if you notice, it doesn't give you a, a Java file by default. So there is a package that's already in here uh, because I left that checked on the inside source packages on that package, you right click new Java class. And I'm going to call this, uh, usually before when you made ant projects, they would name, they'd give you a Java file named after the project. So what I'm going to do is just name this in that same convention, naming it right after the project name. Uh, you should start your classes with a capital letter. So we'll just do that and make sure it's in the right package here. It's in the right package because I right clicked on source on the package itself, which is that com my company and you hit finish. So this will be a blank Java file. If you try to hit run, there's no main method, so you can't actually run it. So let's go ahead and make a public static void main. You have to uh, have public static void main take a string array. You don't have to call it args, but it does need to be a string array. Now we have something to run. Let's of course print something out and give it a run. Now there's no main class found right here, but we have a main class public static void main. It's got the right signature on it. And why can't we find it? There's, a simple reason for that. This is not saved. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. You use a keyboard shortcut. Now, when I hit run, if you see there's an available main class, this popped up before, but there wasn't an available main class. So you can set the main class here. You remember permanently, which means for this project, it's always going to use this public static void main. So I'm going to go remember permanently. If you leave it on default, when you close and that means then open it back up, you're going to have to choose this public static void main again. So I chose that one, run it. And all right, first time you run a Maven project, it's going to have to download some things. So hopefully you have an internet connection or you're going to be uh, unable to run. At my house, this took a couple minutes. Uh, while this is going, oh, there we go. So there's my output right there. Uh, if you run it a second time, it's going to be a lot faster. You won't need to download all that stuff. There we go. There's a lot more printed out than when you have an ANT project. So just be mindful of that. It tells you build success. Okay. There's another way to choose your public static void main or which, which, one, which public static void main is the one you want. So if I duplicate this, control C, control V, I'll call it Maven project one other. Now when I hit refactor, this is the other file I just built. The, what the refactor did is it changed the public class from just Maven project one. It appended other at the end so that it mat this class matches the file name. So you won't have an error. And this is the other public static void main. So now I have two files. They both contain a public static void main. So how do we choose which one we want? That's relatively easy. Do make sure you save it because if you don't save it, uh, NetBeans won't be aware of this method that we just created. So I'm right clicking on the project. If I just hit run, it's going to run the one I chose last because I said switch it so instead of running it, we're going to go to properties 
and down in the run, here's the main class that was going running before. If I hit browse, notice there's a second option because I built a second class that also has public static void main. And I'm gonna select main class. Okay, and when I hit run now, it should say other. There we go, other. Okay, so hopefully that will help you find, uh, create main, public static void main that allows you to run it. Do make sure you save it. Uh, some common mistakes, if you don't uh, have a string array, it won't count. So I'm gonna save it. Uh, if I try to run it, I just basically messed up the public static void main. And that's what it's telling us here somewhere. There's a lot of output, but I screwed up the public static void main. All right, so it's a main method not found. And likewise, if you right click properties, run uh, main class browse, you're only gonna see the original one because yes, it does need to be an array of strings. Now, make sure you hit save. I did control S, properties, run, browse. Now I have two options. So whatever one you wanna run, go for it. Okay, and you should be good to go.